Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, this is a highly requested video of how to make a free trading journal on Notion. You know, I've been posting on my Instagram, the, the little calendar view and everyone's like, that looks good. How, how did you make that? I've even been getting comments on the live stream. People have been requesting this video for a while now. So here I am. We're gonna go ahead and hop straight into it and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the, the trading journal. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and pull up Notion on your screen. This is what it'll look like. This is obviously my trading journal. Um, nothing too special. This is the calendar view that everyone sees. Again, it's got my, what I trade, how much I made, the wins, how many trades I took. And this is for October. Lots of green days, we love to see it, love to see it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make this journal. So first things you wanna do is make your Notion account and you wanna come up to this little pencil icon and do create a new page. So once you create a new page, you can name it what you want. Um, I'm gonna name this trading journal template. And then, once you've got that, you want to click these three little dots down here in the bottom right. And the first thing you want to do is create a table because this is basically your database. This is where you'll be putting in all your information about your trades. So again, you can just name this trades. Now the first property, these, these are your properties up here. It's basically like the title, I guess you could say. And then this is where you'll be adding in your information. So the first thing that we want to add is obviously the market that you're trading. You, you got to know what market you're trading. That's probably one of the most important things to uh, to track when you're when you're creating a journal. So we got market here. This is where you'll add what you're trading. So gold in Q, um, oil, um, the Dow, like it copper it doesn't it doesn't matter whatever you're trading this is where you'll put it now moving on to the next property you want to click add property so after your market i would say the most the second most important thing is obviously the day that you traded that that um, market so we're going to do date and this is probably the easiest one to set up you don't really have to do much once you click date and you click on the page it'll pull up the entire calendar so today's the 24th you'll click 24th click off of it and then boom it's got the date month date year perfect moving on next property we add property and then the next important thing would obviously be how much money you make i mean that's what that's what we're doing the trading for trying to trying to make some money. So that will be number. So you'll click number and you want to edit the property name. So I put PNL. Um, now you want to click edit property and where it says number format, you want to click that. So here you can choose which currency your you want your number in. So, I mean, they've got pretty much every currency in the entire world on here. Pound, Euro, Canadian dollar. Pick whatever um, currency is in your country or, or don't. Do whatever, do whatever you, you please. Uh, but I'm in the US, so we're doing USD. Click off of it. And, oh, one more thing. You also can edit a little picture here. I mean, you can fully customize this thing. Put a little emoji. If you want to put the dollar coming out emoji, you put that. Now, once you click on the page and you put in how much you made, you made twenty thousand today. <laughs> Good day. Um, you click off of it, boom! It automatically puts the comma, the decimal, the money sign, so you know exactly how much you made. Moving on um, to the next property. Let's see, we've got the market, the date, how much we made. Um, everyone likes to have the little the little green or red, some type of something to let them know if it was a winning day or a losing day. So that would be the next thing that we put in. 
Um, I personally would do multi-select just because when you click on it, it's a little bit cleaner. You'll see it only gives you a certain amount of options. So like winning, losing day, or like break even. Um, but you can put outcome for the name of this, change the little emoji to whatever. Um, I don't know. And then you can do edit property type. So here, this is where you'll add your options in. Oops. There we go. So you can say win, um, lose, or like break even. Boom. Now obviously you want these colors to correspond with like what you're doing. You don't want win to be red. So you can click here and edit the color. Win green, lose, you can do red and break even. I mean, you can do whatever other color. I'd personally do gray and then boom. Now, when you come to outcome, you click on outcome, it'll automatically just populate those, those options there. So then, I mean, obviously we made 20K today, so it's a beautiful winning day. Um, but yeah, that's that property. Another property I would add, um, I think I have number of trades that that could be another property. I mean, like I said, you can fully get in here and customize and add as many properties, get a, into as much detail as you want. Um, but yeah, another, I think that's what I have is the number of trades. So I just do text because I, I manually type that in. And you can just do number of trades. Boom. Come in here, I'll do two. Oops, I'll do two, ah oh man, come on. Two trades, boom, number of trades. Another property, let's see. I think I have, I have to look at my chart. I've got charts and notes, okay. So for people that wanna log their charts and actually see their charts on and be able to pull them up on the database. This is good for the, uh, for people who wanna do that. I personally don't put my charts on there um, because I live stream all my trades. So I can just go back in and find the trade in real time. Um, so I personally just don't do that. But if you want to log it, I would do files and media and then you can name it chart or whatever you wanna name it. And then you just insert the file there, whether it's a picture, video, whatever you want to, whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. And then obviously this is probably also very important. I'm gonna do text and add a notes section so you could take notes on your trade. Like for instance, if you say like, don't trade the open at 9:30 EST. It's bad. <laughs> Something like that. Whatever your notes are for that for that day or the trade. And that's pretty much it. So that's your database, and then you would do it over and over and over again. Um, new page, boom! I add in another another trade, whatever I'm trading, the date, the outcome. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the database. Now to get the pretty little calendar that everyone likes, like this. You want to go to this little plus sign beside your table and you want to click calendar. Give it a second to do its thing. And now we're here on the calendar view. So to edit and get exactly what you want on there, you want to click calendar and you want to do edit view. <clears throat> now on edit view, I mean, again, you can completely customize this exactly how you want. I mean, you get into some pretty good detail, but the, really the number one thing that you want to do is go right here to property visibility because this shows exactly what's on, what's going to be displayed on in your little calendar window box. 
Um, and you obviously don't want this too pat because you want it to look pretty, pretty neat. Um, and if you add everything in there and say, for instance, you write a whole par paragraph of notes, it's going to be in there and it's just going to completely skew your, your calendar view. So at most, I'd probably say like three or four things on your calendar view. Um, obviously you want the market on there. You want, you don't need the date because the date's already on the calendar itself. I would say you obviously want the PNL and you want the outcome. Um, and you can put number of trades. I think I have number of trades on there. Yeah, I think I have four things on there. Click off of it. And now when you come down to today's date, it's got those four things. It's got the market that you're trading, how much money you made, win or loss, number of trades. And you can actually flip these around as well. Um, so if you want the money at the bottom, you would just come here, edit view, and you would just drag this. So say we want how much money we made at the bottom, I would drag this down to the bottom. And now when I come back, the money's at the bottom now of how much we made. And that is pretty much it. I mean, I can go into depth every single detail on how to customize this, but I will take this template and I'm, I'm gonna link it in the description. It's completely free. All that I ask is that you just like and subscribe and check us out at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I live stream every morning, Monday through Friday. We just hang out, have a good time, talk about trading. If you wanna learn more, the perfect opportunity to ask questions there in that, in that live stream. But I mean, that's pretty much it for this, this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll answer them. And that's it. I'm out.